I think paper is very uh, reserved. It has a quietness about it. It's very subtle, very sensitive. And that sensitive surface uh, accepts the kind of marks, the kind of tonalities, the kind of uh, um, shapes that I, I tend to work with. Working with handmade paper kind of uh, gets me around that dilemma that artists find themselves faced with when they have a blank page in front of them. If I start with something that has a surface of its own, a color of its own, a shape of its own, I then respond to that and then I give to it what it needs. So there's sort of a dialogue between me and the material and from there I just start building. Most of my pieces have a general theme of the fragility of life and I really see paper as a metaphor for that. It has the inherent qualities that life has. It's fragile, it's precious, and it has a sense of impermanence. And paper just coming from a living substance, coming from the cellulose of plant fibers, it almost breathes a life of its own. I like my work to convey a sense of fleeting time or of a captured moment, much the way people have fragmented memories, which adds a sense of continuum to their lives. Paul DeLong and Kitty Kingston are modern artists working in an ancient medium. They create artworks from handmade paper, varying techniques discovered over 2,000 years ago. Yet they feel paper making still provides unlimited potential for exploration and discovery. I was initially attracted to handmade paper in that it was a very flexible medium. I can control its shape, its color, its textures. You can make a paper that's very hard or very soft. It can be opaque or translucent. You can have a two-dimensional piece or a three-dimensional piece. So it was really playing with all these possibilities of paper that I found exciting initially. Everything is really controlled by first the fibers you choose. Um, generally in European paper making you're working with a cotton fiber or a linen fiber. The pulp I'm using started with half stuff, which is cotton textile cuttings, which someone else has cooked and beaten with a Hollander beater. You can then process this in a home blender or a wearing blender, just using water in that pulp. Once the pulp is beaten up, you transfer that, which is called the slurry, into a vat of water. If you add too much pulp, you'll have a very thick sheet. So how much you add to the water will really determine the thickness of the sheet you're forming. The most essential tools in paper making are the mold and deckle. The mold is a wooden frame with a screen to help sieve the pulp out of the water. The deckle goes on top of the mold and keeps the pulp in place when you're forming a sheet. When you're forming your sheet, you want to have a very consistent movement, nothing choppy. You don't start and stop. Your arms keep on moving through the movement. When you raise your deckle and mold up out of the water, you want to give it a shake to help align the fibers and then leave it alone. You want it to drain for a few minutes. Sometimes you can tilt it on its side to help drain it faster, but essentially you don't want to get any drops on that sheet or you'll deform the surface of your paper. The process of transferring a freshly formed sheet of paper from the mold to a felt is known as couching. It is by performing variations of traditional forming and couching techniques that Kitty Kingston manipulates pulp to create her artworks. Here's some of the qualities in my pieces have been developed through accident where I've experimented with forming a sheet and then doing things that you're not supposed to do to the sheet, like putting it back into the vat, lifting it half off and depositing new fibers on top of it. I'm involved in a collage process in which I would first form a base sheet and then I would lay down various found materials, Japanese papers, in this piece it would be colored threads, and I put bits of pulp over these and embed them in the sheet. And I'll go back with another sheet of paper that's more translucent and lay that on top of the base sheet to create an atmospheric effect. The handmade paper has a great potential in terms of discovery. It allows for accidents that can be uh, exploited. I think that's why I enjoy working with it so much because uh, what, what some people might consider wrong with a piece of paper fits in really well with what I try to do in my work. 
Paul Dulong creates handmade sheets of paper for the express purpose of further manipulation. He has a strong attraction to the paper's inherent qualities, yet feels that those qualities can always be enhanced. I really enjoy paper. I enjoy the surface of paper. But for myself, I just can't seem to uh, leave it alone. I have to work into it, and I believe that's because I always respond to dark colors, and I like rich uh, surfaces that are heavily uh, modeled. Uh, and I enjoy paper for that reason, because you can make it look tattered. You can uh, make it look like uh, old uh, tar paper. Uh, you can make it look like just about anything, tin, lead. I also work with it where it's, it's paper, and it reads as paper. But I think that's a nice uh, uh, flexibility that the, the material has, where you can make it just about anything you want. Paul DeLong's background as a printmaker gives him a broad range of techniques to choose from in creating his collage material. Over the years, he has established an extensive catalog of textures and patterns on a variety of handmade papers. From this collection, he carefully chooses the materials that are eventually incorporated into his artwork. This little collection of collage bits spark new ideas. They become uh, seeds for new images. And there's never a day in the paper studio that I don't discover something new about the material. That's why I'm so fascinated with paper, because it has such a variety of personalities and characteristics. The work is about paper and its sensuous qualities, and I find both with working with the pulp, with handmade paper, and with papers that other people have printed, I just keep reaffirming that statement that paper is beautiful to look at.